highlighted to host this particular program with the theme creating a world of peace, one family at a time. And I believe that we all will be greatly enriched by the experience that we garner today. Au nom de son Excellence, Monsieur Alpha Ibrahim Masso, ambassadeur représentant permanent de la République de Guinée auprès des Nations Unies, je voudrais donc, en son nom, remercier tous les participants à ce symposium sur la journée internationale de la famille. La famille est l'élément central de toute société. We feel the family is one of the most critical issues facing humanity, how we strengthen marriage, family, parenting. As we build good marriages and strong families, we can transform this world as families become the agent of development and social transformation for peace in this world. We look forward to the day when we have a society in which all people feel value in their work and labor and in which all citizens have their basic needs for clothing, food, housing, education, and health, etc., met. I would like to emphasize the importance of building peace in the world through strengthening the family in the context of social integration and in ending family-based violence. Unfortunately, not all families are a place of peace. Many families need strengthening through assistance and support, including education in conflict resolution skills, effective parenting techniques for young children and adolescents, and couples and family counseling. In conclusion, policies addressing family issues must recognize that families need strengthening and access to continued support, including from their communities and from friend family-friendly government policies. Everything that you learn is inside the family. You learn from your mom, you learn from your dad. And um, if you learn happiness, if you learn love, if you're experiencing that, then automatically you're going to share that with whoever you meet outside of the family. We are all members of one human family under God. If we can grasp this essential truth, then we can begin to find the collective will and the hope to achieve the Millennium Development Goals. Let us work together to build a world of lasting peace, beginning with ourselves, and beginning with our own families. The celebration of the International Day of the Family draw worldwide attention to the family as fundamental policy issue. The family is and has always been the essential social unit in all societies. The family is a building block to build world peace, and without strengthening families, we cannot achieve this goal. The most fundamental and paramount responsibility without which life has no meaning, is the preservation of the family. The progress and welfare of society or its breakdown can be traced to the strength and unity or the lack of it in the family. Peace and security offered by a stable family unit is greatly valued and are seen as central for the spiritual growth of its members, the society and humanity. And a harmonious social order is created by the existence of families and extended families in which children are treasured, giving value to life and to growth. Individuals like you who are here today and stand for this universalism without sacrificing individual heritage can make a difference. And the difference you can make is precisely by reaching out beyond your families to others, using the good things you have learned from your families to enrich others. The truth is, we are all little islands, and our real task is to go and visit others and to get others to visit us. As you all know, many of the UN MDGs, Millennium Development Goals, are directly connected to the well-being of women and family. The human heart, as we know, is formed within the family, within the love and care and guidance, the unconditional love, the nurturing of the spirit of empathy and living for the sake of others in the family. The mother's role is particularly important because we need to raise the hearts of children to understand other people as they become citizens of the world that will have the compassion, the utmost determination to stop suffering and pain of others. I want to ask something. Are you really interested in having peace in the world? Yes. Okay.
If you are, then can you make a commitment in your life to be peaceful starting right now? Well then stand up if you are. You know, Mahatma Gandhi said, if you want to change, you have to be the change that you want to see in the world. And right now you have said, you want to be a change in the world. Now go get two more people who are willing to make that commitment. And tell those two to get two more people. And let's get 100 billion people in the world to say, I'm going to be peaceful. This will be a peaceful world. Thank you.